Hey, this is the Click here 24-7 and today I've got a product review on this product here. And what it is, is a Solar Monkey and Solar Nut from Power Traveler. Um, I have to apologise for the quality of this video, as I know it's absolute crap, but that is because my camcorder is away and I have to film it with my laptop. But never mind, um, I hope you enjoy this review. So this is a Solar Monkey and Solar Nut, as I said. And we'll start off with an unboxing, because that always helps. <laughs> when you get inside the box, you'll find one package. Uh, everything, there's nothing in there left. Everything's in here. And it's quite a nice little bag uh, to store your Solar Monkey. And let's get inside. So you just zip it open. And right at the top, as you can see, is the solar monkey and this is your first look and as you can see it just looks like two mini solar panels uh, that green light indicates oh, over here indicates that it is charging and the brighter it is it means the better power you're going to get so under that is the backpack strap and i think you can probably guess what you do with this you strap it onto your backpack um, it's handy if you're hiking or whatever. This is a solar nut and it complements the solar monkey. Um, all, you, all you do is plug it in, just like that. And as this is charging, uh, the power goes into here. And it charges this up um, and then charges your uh, device up. So when it goes cloudy, or if I shut that like that, your device will still be charging for a little while, but this isn't a permanent power uh, source. Then you've got your little pouch, um, a David Shepherd guide. I'm not too sure what this exactly is, so I'll just open it up. Um, it's got a map on the back of something to do with the David Shepherd Foundation. And on the other side, it's got all the specification and such like, can't really see that kind of, oh there you go. Uh, so that's all the paperwork, really. That's just a screen. Um These are all the connections, it's probably better if you look at it that way, that you can plug in your Solar Monkey 2. So these are just a few of the devices that you can charge up. As you can see, there are nine different connections here. Which include the mini ESP for PSD controllers and digital cameras and such like. There is the iPhone and iPod connection, there's a Motorola connection, a Sony Ericsson connection, uh, one for the LG, uh, a Nokia connection, and there's a Nokia mini connection and the large connection. Uh, it depends what model you've got. There is also a female USB uh, to charge up such devices like uh, USB batteries, which I previously did a review on, and uh, digital cameras and stuff. There is also this other connection, which I believe is for Blackberries, but I'm not too sure. So those are all the nine different connections. To charge up one of these devices, all you do is plug the solar monkey into the solar nut and then with this connection at the end get whatever device you want this is the LG Beauty and if you can see there as soon as I plug it in it charges up and if I unlock it if you can see up there it is charging the solar monkey can also be used indoors as well as outdoors underneath bedside lights or basically just a bright room, as long as it isn't a fluorescent lamp. Also the Solar Monkey has overcharging protection, which is also a really good feature, so it doesn't break the Solar Monkey when you charge it too much. And it does advise to charge it, uh, charge the Solar Nut uh, every 2-3 to three months. To attach the Solar Monkey and Solar Nut to your backpack or hiking bag, simply attach the strap to one of the two holes in the device, and then attach the strap to a strap in your backpack. 
then plug it into your device. You put that in a pouch and you're ready to go. As you can see, the Solar Monkey is very, very handheld. So is the Solar Nut, which means it doesn't take up that much space in your backpack, hiking bag, whatever. It is also incredibly light and only weighs 124 grams combined. So this is a perfect gadget to take if you're hiking, going to the festivals, whatever.